Hi everyone, welcome to EDUC 204, Computer Technology and Instructional Media. I'm Dr. Fegley. This video is going to show you how to move around within the Moodle classroom, utilize the course resource website, hand in assignments, and all that good stuff. To begin, you'll see at the top of your Moodle page, there's the course syllabus and the course work schedule. As this is a hybrid course, please review the course schedule so you know when we're meeting online, labeled online synchronous in the schedule, when we'll be meeting in person, labeled face to face, and when it's an independent work week, that's labeled online asynchronous. Please make sure that you've reviewed those documents as they're very important for you to understand what is expected of you throughout this course. You will find the online textbook login at the top of the Moodle page. In this course, you're going to utilize an ebook which is available for purchase through a link in the syllabus. Yes, you will need the most recent version, which is only offered as an ebook. The older version, which is in hard copy, will not work for this course. You can buy this e-textbook directly from the publisher through that link in the syllabus, or you can buy it through the Coastal Bookstore. The bookstore is going to upcharge you a couple bucks and give you the exact same code that you could get for cheaper directly from the publisher. So you're going to buy the ebook from the publisher, and they're going to email you login information to set up your account. Once you get set up and you have your online textbook credentials, you can just click that link in Moodle and that'll take you directly to the online textbook login page. Most importantly, you'll find this big link right here which goes to the course resource website. While Moodle is the place that you're going to turn in your assignments and where the syllabus and the work schedules are housed, this link right here directs you to the course resource website. This is where you can find all of your different homework instructions, helpful hints, tutorial videos, and other resources that are available to you to be successful in this class. All these different tabs are aligned to the actual module chapters in the online textbook. As an example, if I were to go to something like 303 Desktop Publishing, that aligns to module 303 in your online textbook. First thing that you have is what your homework assignment is. And then below that, there are tutorial videos and PowerPoints and just other things that are going to help you as you complete the actual homework assignment. Okay, so everything that you need is going to be housed in this website as far as your homework instructions and all that good stuff. Remember, for this course, the homework instructions that are on the course resource website always take precedence over whatever is actually printed in the textbook. So make sure that you check your homework assignments versus what's on the course resource website before handing it in. Okay, so back to the Moodle page. If you continue down, you'll see a Getting Started Resources link. This is just a reminder that if you don't have Microsoft Office, you can download up to five free desktop versions for free through your Coastal email and OneDrive account. So follow these directions and watch this tutorial if you get confused or if you're not sure how to download the Microsoft Office products. We're going to be using all Microsoft products throughout this course, such as PowerPoint and Excel. Further down on the Moodle page, you'll see how the homework assignments are set up for each week. So you'll see under week one, you have these assignments that are due. As a reminder, all assignments are due by 11.55 p.m. on Sunday. These links take you to the actual page on the resource website for that module. So if I were to click this link below, that's going to have all the stuff that I need to complete that homework assignment. Underneath those resources is where you would actually hand in that specific paper or project. So to hand something in, you would just click right here where it has the little hand in icon, and this is where you're going to submit your version of the homework assignment. I'm not a student, so I don't have that view, but this is where you would upload your assignment into Moodle, um, and then just make sure that you confirm that you've uploaded that assignment into Moodle, um, and that you've hit OK, and everything goes through properly. In closing, welcome to EDUC 204, and as always, please let me know if you have any questions as you work through the course.